Hi, I'm Jay Sellers with the Brunswick Glen Joint Water and Sewer Commission. You've likely met just a few of the dedicated men and women that have faithfully served our community here since our agency was formed in January 2008 by consolidation of the City of Brunswick and Glen County Utilities. You may know people like Dennis Lewis, a customer service representative that has been serving this community in various ways all of his adult life, the last eight years of which have been with the JWSC. And Charity Fur, our newest customer service representative that started working with us a few months back in October of 2018. We tend to look at employees or teams and businesses, agencies, and organizations like parts of a body. The management team is often viewed as the head. As directed by the Board of Commissioners, these few at the top of the org chart get paid to think, guide, and lead the organization. The administrative support staff can be considered the face of the organization because they have the most forward, personal, and constant contact with our customers. The field operations staff, like those that maintain the water production system, distribution mains, sanitary sewer collection system, and pumping stations, are the hands and feet of this body. Like a factory floor, they keep the products moving. Out of just over 160 staff members in our agency, 26 are silent heroes that operate our wastewater treatment plant operations 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Our treatment plant operators work around the clock to ensure that what makes its way down the pipes flows through the process and out to the river in an environmentally sound and responsible way. We have three wastewater treatment plants. The largest one, by treated volume, is located in Brunswick on Newcastle Street. The wastewater on St. Simons Island is treated in the Glen Haven area and flows into Dunbar Creek. The Southport plant handles all wastewater in the Exit 29 area. In another episode of this video series, we're going to dive deeper into what happens at a wastewater treatment facility, also known as a water pollution control plant. But this is a message about people. The staff at our three wastewater treatment plants are the guts of the operations. If there's a problem here, every other system is impacted. We all know what a backup feels like in our bodies, and a backup in the process is that the plant causes health problems for the rest of the body. What you flush makes its way from your house to the river through a stage of natural processing over no more than about five or six hours. Just like an assembly line, these plants can't be shut down for any length of time without causing consequences for all of us. Keeping the process going includes the efforts of technicians like Danny Keefe and Jeremiah Johnson. With the help of our plant maintenance mechanics, they work alongside treatment operators like Antonio Simmons, seen here taking samples of the sewage as it's going through the Academy Creek plant, and Tina Roop, seen here inspecting the liquid oxygen level, a key element in the process. Likewise, Mark Whitlow is seen here taking samples at the Dunbar Creek plant. At both plants, operators like Mark plus Jackson O'Quinn, shown here, monitor a belt press that helps ensure that the highest amounts of solid content is removed from the process and disposed of, allowing just the liquids to remain in what flows into the river. Helping to track the progress in this process are lab analysts like Myra Rainey and Lakeisha Jones, shown here in the Academy Creek Lab, and Melanie Griffiths, shown here in the Dunbar Creek Lab. They measure various biological factors and samples of the sewage as it enters the plant, known as influent, and make sure that what leaves the plant, known as effluent, meets or exceeds both state and national environmental standards. Not shown here is the Southport plant at Exit 29, but we'll give you more details on this plant in a future video. You may never get a chance to see them work, but you can rest assured that there's always a dedicated team of technicians working for you and your family to keep the water pressure up and the sewage processed. When you attend a public meeting of our Board of Commissioners, pay your bill in the lobby, or see the operations staff as they travel around the community, we want you to be aware of these staff members that are not as visible to you. If you experience a drop in water pressure, a sewage backup, or simply have a billing question, please feel free to contact us via our website, our business office, or our after-hours call center. We have a public emergency notification system known as Everbridge, which will send you a text message or email within minutes of a water service outage. Please visit our website and click on the red button labeled Get Emergency Service Alerts and sign up to get these critical alerts. Every day, the staff of the JWSC is here to serve you.